Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Bastaluna, and I am uh, doing a little kitchen witching today. Um, I'm making, uh, replenishing my um, my uh, 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 balmy body butter for um, Simply Delish. I'm doing all kinds of different things right now. So, um, but I thought that I would stop for a second and do just a little tutorial. Can you guys hear me okay? Hi! Hi Kendra, how you doing? <laughs> so, I'm nervous as I'm always nervous when I'm trying to do something live and uh, live and in color, but you know, I gotta do it. Can't be a punk, can't be a punk, so I'm not gonna be a punk today. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do today is, hi Catrice, how you doing? Um, I'm making some uh, black salt because I just, I was looking around for some stuff and I saw that I am running extremely low. And black salt is actually really, really good for um, protection, um, if you don't already know. Uh, you can use it in um, uh, many different uh, ways. You can spring it all around your house. You can um, on the outside of your house and whatnot. Um, uh, you can put it in your bath. Uh, there's many different ways that you can apply it, but um, it's really good for all of us um, to have different means of protection. Um, hi, La Monica. So um, this is one of the ways that I, uh, I myself make the salt, and it's pretty easy. So I just wanted to show you really quickly. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm going to lower this down so you can actually see my hands. Can you see? Okay, so I've got, what I've got here is, um, I've got salt, you can see. You wanna use the, the most natural salt, uh, like sea salt, not necessarily table salt because it's got a lot of, it's, uh, they taken a lot of the uh, uh, natural goodness out of it, so I like, using sea, uh, sea salt for everything. Um, and you need an iron skillet or something of iron because you need to incorporate iron into the salt. Um, you need uh, protection herbs. So protection, uh, there are many different herbs that serve dual purposes. Um, bay leaves are um, a prosperity herb, but they can also use for protection. Um, linden flower, which is what I have right here. They, uh, this is um, a really great protection herb. Um, I've got agrimony, I've got a lot of different things. So the thing about it is, it's what resonates with you. Um, I pretty much uh, utilize uh, these little herbs um, for the most part. Some high sop also, orris root, mandrake, all of those different things have uh, protection, and it just it just depends. You can make it. You can put as many. Um, your connection is acting up. I'm sorry, honey. Um, hopefully, you can uh, join us again. Hey, Tiffany. So um, you can use whatever herbs that resonate with you, but uh, what you want to do is have your salt first. This is the easiest way I can say to do it. You take your salt, um, to incorporate the, the iron, you wanna pour it on the back of your skillet, like this. Pour it on there liberally, and uh, you wanna scrub it, like so. Just scrub it all around the skillet as if you are trying to clean your skillet, which that's all it's good to do. But you don't want to put it in the on the um, on the other on the other side of your skillet where you cook at because usually if you're anything like uh, if you're a foodie of any kind, you 
uh, keep your seas your your um, iron skillet seasoned and so that would be picking up a lot of oil and things like that that you don't necessarily need so you want to go to the back of the pan where you probably don't have um, a little to no lubrication oil or whatever so you get the most uh, iron so you go and you rub and mind you I this is kind of a messy process so what I have is a um, is a, a cookie pan with a, a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil. I usually use, oops, I usually use um, uh, parchment paper, but I just ran out. So I'm going to be utilizing aluminum foil, which isn't a bad thing. So you take the salt and you just keep going over. over the pan a few times just to kind of incorporate it it's not going to turn black per se that's not where it really gets the color but you see that there are some it, it, it's it's definitely changing color i don't know if you can see that it's a little bit more tinted than it was before but you know as long as you are as long as it's getting the energy of the iron into it that's all that really matters so you do that then the next thing and this is <laughs> an extremely um this is something that you have to be very very careful please don't burn your house down please don't burn yourselves um oh i forgot before you even do all of that you have to have a black candle i don't know if you see my black candle right here and i forgot to light it so you always want to have a black candle it's kind of like a um protection blessing to your endeavor what you're trying to do here so you have your candle burning and then you start scrubbing your uh pan next thing you want to do is you take very very carefully very carefully you take a little bit, just a teeny bit of um, Florida water. Now, the reason why I'm using Florida water is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, burn my herbs. Now, I've got these herbs in this uh, in my little tiny cauldron here, and this is what I usually use it for. Um, but because I usually do it on the outside, but being that, I'm in an apartment now. I have to do this on the inside and very carefully watch your eyebrows, watch this damn hair. <laughs> I'm putting the hair back. Hi, how you doing, lovey? Um, and then you light your herbs on fire. And the thing that I like about using the uh, herbs uh, the, using this you know the cauldron and the uh, Florida water is that the herb the Florida water is going to allow them to burn evenly and completely you know when you're uh, burning herbs sometimes they don't they don't burn very easy evenly and you have to keep relighting them but putting the uh, Florida water in there will get everything right so you just let that and if you see so less is more you guys if you see that it's starting to die down a little bit you just put a couple more drops in there and light it again you want to be extremely careful right now it's a uh, smoldering like a um like incense and it kind of smells good too with all the herbs burning hey sugar mm -hmm. yes my 11 year love my 11 year old loves the smell of incense obviously mm-hmm so you let this 
burn down you can see it's like a slow flame I don't know if you guys can see but it's a slow flame let it go just let it do its thing until uh, you get mostly ash now if you really want to get funky with it which I do I always do um, you also can add some uh, uh, the ashes of ancestor money which just adds more layers to your protection because you are showing reverence to your folks and um, incorporating them into your salt into your protection so it's just you know multifaceted I really like doing that so you see that it's smoldering it's not quite they're not quite burnt up just yet but I can't um, I can't uh, um, relate to you <laughs> anymore that it is extremely important for you to go slowly with this process so if they're going slow and if you have to keep relight keep lighting them over and over again just to kind of let them burn out the thing is you want to get them down to ashes there you go. Yes. We've got flame. So, while this is burning, um, then if you want to, you can, uh, just like I was saying, you can also add the, um, uh, uh, you can burn some ancestor money, say a little prayer, um, you know, show a little reverence for your folks. And then uh, burn the at the ancestor money. I've got ashes that I burned a little bit earlier, um, um, and then add it to your mixture. And so, after all of this is done, after you've gotten uh, your herbs to where that you know you're satisfied, they're nice and charred and black and whatever. Then you incorporate your salt that you just scraped from your pan um, into there and then with a uh, pestle and mortar um, just grind everything together so that it is all incorporated and last but not least but something uh, something that is extremely important is that you want to pray over it um, any sort of incantation that resonates with you um, what I like to do is use the Psalms uh, the Psalms uh, 23 uh, is my favorite one. It's a, one that's just always at the top of my head. And also, uh, Psalms 91 is extremely powerful for protection. Um, that's something that you can definitely use. And um, I forgot to tell you too, whenever you are adding any additional um, ingredient into anything that you're doing basically you want to make sure that you are uh, basically giving each herb a job to do so um, with the bay leaves you know this is for protection you know you don't necessarily have to add you know have like a, a conversation with it but just giving the uh, herbs um, a job you know what they're supposed to do you are for protection you are for protection agrimony is for protection um it just gives the intent a little bit more power and so um this is about done it's smoldering what i'm going to do is uh just for the sake of time I'm going to add my salt into the ashes. Oops. That's hot. That was hot. That was pretty stupid. And um, along with my ancestor money ashes that I burned earlier. And I do not see my mortar and pestle around even though I know I just had it in my hand. So I'm going to be super ghetto about it and just stir it 
with my little lighter situation. But just so that you guys get the idea, I'm gonna get off of here and make it pretty like it's supposed to once I find my, what the hell I did with my mortar and pestle. But you see, you see that the, uh, the herbs are um, intermingling and the ash is intermingling with the salt. Um, once you get that mortar and pestle action in there, um, it comes out pretty much just like this, you know. And then you just put it at, once it's all uh, once it's all uh, uh, um, <laughs> cooled down. Once it's cooled down, then you can put it in your uh, put it in your Tupperware, whatever you want to uh, hold it in, and just put it away for safekeeping. But um, I think that's it. That concludes my uh, tutorial. I hope that was helpful for, to you guys. Um, hi, Colette. Thank you for the tutorial. You're welcome, my love. I hope it was, um, I hope it was helpful. Um, and I got to do more videos so that I can stop rambling, but um, I'm going to get it together, you know? But thank you guys for watching. I love you. Talk to you later.